I've been talking to some guys online and they're asking me for advice about how to get girls. How do I approach them? What do I do if I find out that I'm interested in somebody? So here's a few pointers. Okay, now is this somebody at work? Is this somebody online? Is this somebody that you meet at Starbucks? If you meet somebody online, you can probably already find out a bunch of information on them. Are they a vegan? Do they have any kids? Are they, you know, what looking to date? Are they, you know, bi? Are they interested in guys? You know, if you're at work, same thing. Do they look at you like that? Do they look at, you know, do they spend extra time if you say hi to them? Do they say hi and walk by or do they sit there and say, lean over and say, oh, hey, how you doing? What's going on? And talk to you a little bit. The more somebody gives you their attention, the more that they're showing interest in you. So now if you're just having a casual encounter, you, you got to look for more subtle signs. Like, you know, if somebody drops something and you pick it up and give it to them, you know, do they sit there and say like, oh, thank you, or, um, you know, can I get you a coffee, or, you know, are they looking to return the favor if you've done something for them? So that's, that's the first sign you got to figure out is if they're interested in you. Step two, asking them out. If you're interested in somebody, ask them out. But be casual about it. Say, hey, do you want to go to a, you know, for a coffee? Do you want to go for a drink? Do you want to grab a lunch? Don't make it seem like you know, like, hey, you want to go get married tomorrow? No, that's probably going to scare the hell out of most girls. So, you know, just be casual about it. You know, say, hey, you know, if you're not doing anything, you know, after work, Friday, whatever, do you want to go and grab a drink, you know? See if, you know, another couple of people, you know, if they don't seem too comfortable, See if another couple of people from work want to go and do it with you guys. There you go. Okay, let's say you get on the date. Okay, ask them about what her interests are. You know, what do you like to do for fun? You know, where do you see yourself in five years? You know, depending on your age range, you know. Uh, what are you studying? Do you have a cat? Do you know? Do you have a dog? You know, uh, ask them about themselves. You know, you know, where's your family from? If they don't, you know, you know, say, hey, were you born here? Don't ask them really in-depth personal questions because that's just gonna scare somebody off and you know just have fun that's that's the most important thing because if a girl has fun on a date with you she's gonna want to have another date with you unless now unless if this is the case if she's looking to get out of there as quickly as possible it's not going good if she's always looking at her phone, her watch, something, you know, mm, not a good sign. If she goes to the bathroom and doesn't come back for 20 minutes or doesn't come back at all, that's definitely not a good sign. If she says, can I bring a friend? Like, yeah, sure, you know, what's her name? And then if she says, oh, his name's Bob, 
like, oh, was that your brother? Oh, no, it's my boyfriend. Uh, then, you know, nah, <laughs> you don't got a date, you got a new friend. So, you know, and then if you get to the second date, that's when you can start asking a little bit more personal questions and, you know, see where she leads to it. I mean, people are, you know, there's a whole study of body language of how close somebody wants to get to you or, you know, if they're always keeping their distance from you or they seem like they're on guard, they always got their phone by them, you know, that that's that's a sign that they're feeling uneasy about something, you know, so, or, you know, if, you know, and when you do get to that first date, you know, ask her, where do you, where do you want to go? And if she says, I don't care, you know, then say, okay, suggest so blah blahs. So, and then if she says, okay, yeah, blah blahs is I'm fine. I love blah blahs. Then, you know, okay, cool. She's more into it, you know, into you. So, you know, there's just some pointers to get you off the starting line. And if any of you guys out there uh, use any of these pointers, let me know and let me know if they've helped you in any way. And the number one thing is don't be afraid to talk to girls. We're not alligators looking to chew your leg off. You know, if you're single, just like being a guy, if you're single and you're a girl, you probably want people to ask you on dates. Even if it doesn't work out, you know, you still, you want to be asked out. You want to, you know, see who's out there, see who you're compatible with. You might find out as the guy that that girl is not for you. So, you know, don't be afraid. Go out there, get yourself in the game, have fun, and just do it, as they say. You know, ask somebody out, you see a pretty lady, girl, whatever your age range is, senior. <laughs> you know, just ask her out, say, hey, let's go do this make a fun date you know go to an amusement park go bowling go you know whatever go roller skating you know you don't just have to go and sit there at dinner and uh, you know if she doesn't drink then you know maybe slack off on the booze that night you know just get out there have fun you know, notice the body language, what they're doing online. You get a lot of more information. Get out there, do it, and do it with confidence. Number one thing, confidence. If you don't have it and you don't show it, it's not going to come out. So. Get out there, do it with a big C, and bloody kisses, get out there. Game on.